guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Ducky. What's Lucy. her name? <laughs> Lucy Goosey Duck. <laughs> She's getting so big. Yeah, look how big she is. Ruby still wants to eat her. <laughs> Ruby still definitely wants to eat her. <laughs> eye to eye. Good job, Daisy. She's anyway, so welcome to today's video. We wanted to show you guys how big Duck is getting. Too tall for her. We spent the whole entire morning, it's noon now, we spent the whole entire morning at the other house cleaning, moving like almost, all we have left are a couple of big things. That's it. Uh, and then the whole house is empty. Mostly clean. I still have some cleaning to do. Found this little ball. Ellie loves it. <laughs> she loves balls. So I always bring them home for her. Try to get done as much as we could, as fast as we could this morning at the other house because we really want to work on this house and get everything done so we can get the horses here. And we also have show prep tonight. So these arrived today. These are Sam's handy dandy panels he bought. Even though this barn renovation doesn't look like we've done a lot, it's been an expensive endeavor. Anyway, they're super cute. I love them. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to do with them and how we're making changes. I was going to put a gate here. I was going to buy a metal gate here. So we can open it that way and go that way instead of using that gate. It would be like a tight turn for Chino and stuff. So this will go. Why not move that gate over there? Yep, yeah, maybe I could do that. I don't know. Wait a minute. We've lost a dog. We're trying to teach Daisy to be outside and run free. The problem is, until we get into the farm, the paddock area, there's the road and she goes there. Like, uh, somebody said hi to her on the road one day and now suddenly she's like wanting to go there all the time. So uh, she's hard to watch. So Daisy was in the house. <laughs> anyway, Sam did put on the last boards. I, I might, love it. I might actually move that gate over here. You might actually move the gate over? Yeah, it's just easier for Chino to get out here. I agree. All right. You think it'll be hard though? No. All right, I believe in you. So what will you put there then? I'll have to fill it in with wood. Do you have wood? Lots of wood. Yeah, there's lots of wood here. I mean, there's wood everywhere. We took into consideration, so many people made comments saying that these are dangerous, that horses can get their feet caught in them. I think people think that these are dangerous as well because some horses do get their feet caught in them, especially if they get cast. We've been lucky so far. We used these in our old barn. We haven't had a problem. Uh, so we did buy livestock panels that were specifically made for this purpose. And probably we're gonna end up using wood eventually anyway, but for now we're using panels. I mean, unless you're gonna bubble wrap your horse. I mean, we're going to try and be as safe as possible. So we're going to continue to use this stuff on the panels. Uh, and then somebody said like this stuff at the top, horses are going to put their head and scratch. They're not like, they cave under pressure. They're not like rigid metal. This is just soft plastic. So it'll protect their feet. And I'm going to change this so that they can't scratch on it so hopefully i mean these are not comfortable so i'm going to work on that today before we have to go and do show prep um and we're gonna so we're gonna get the panels in i'm gonna take all this stuff off i brought all my handy supplies and i'm gonna work on it and make it so i'm likely going to put that stuff from here down and leave this one open because other than putting their heads through, most horses are not gonna get their feet up this high. How high are these panels, Sam? These are five foot. Five foot panels. Yeah, so I think I'm burying them a bit. Yeah, I think we should bury the suckers because they're really high. How am I gonna pet my horse over it? <laughs> well, your horse's head is here, so. Well, my horse's head is here. But my arms are here. Oh, that's handy. I told you guys in yesterday's video, I can't even keep track anymore, but I told you guys in yesterday's video that Sam ordered panels and then they got sold on him. And he, so then he couldn't get those panels anymore. So he ended up getting these panels instead 
and he liked them, but the other panels were a different size and they fit this space and they fit this space. So in order to face, so this is 16 feet and the panels are five feet, 10? These, these are 10 foot. 10 foot, so this is 16 feet. This fence is 16 feet. So uh, he would have to get, so if he uses those panels, he'll be way too short and not be able to figure it out. Hopefully you guys can figure out what I'm trying to say. So I told him, let's just use this panel. So he's gonna secure this panel and I'm going to do the same thing, use this stuff on here and I'm gonna move this stuff underneath so that nobody gets hurt. And that's the best we can do. that touches the ground all right now i gotta dig <laughs> here because that's where we're moving it to right okay we'll just move the dirt or whatever so that thing has to be buried that little d well shape. it doesn't have to be buried but it has to be left So now that we, so I keep saying like, we won't know what we need to change until we have the horses here and already fencing this in so we can't just walk through means we have to use this gate and that's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying to have to walk all the way around. Anyway, I brought all this stuff over. Remember I saved it all and put it in the other barn. I brought this stuff back and I am going to put it all the way up and I'm even gonna put it on this wall here. So I'm gonna show you guys. Somehow I got it way tighter on this side and then this side is like basically I needed to go down a loop to do it so I might redo that whole section just to, just to get it right. We've been putting the duck and the goose out during the day when we're home like in a outside area where they can eat grass and this is it that's how much it rained in the night that pool but then I put these little chairs lounge chairs here because it's shady and I love to sit there and just watch them I may or may not have had a fight with a bag of diatomaceous earth. See it? It's all over me. Anyway, we are at home, at our first home, or our second home, whatever you want to call it. But we're at home, and we are getting ready for the horse show. We're doing show prep. Remind me, I gotta get treats. Oh, I don't need treats. So after the last show, I learned that my kids are, like, really good at doing... Oh, where in the heck is the track trunk? My kids are really good at doing a lot of things. So this show, I'm, we, I set out rules for everyone. So Gabby and Sylvia are gonna bathe. I'm gonna clean out our tack trunk because that's why we were so disorganized last time. I'm gonna clean out our tack trunk and then we're gonna braid together. But uh, first I need to bring in all my tack. We have a plan for our show prep and we have a plan for moving day. I know we have I know we have a horse show on tomorrow and then we're getting goats this weekend. But we think we can have everything done by Monday and move the horses over. We're excited. We're insanely excited. So that's the plan. Hopefully it works out. We basically have to move our horses before we can finish. So Gina's Uh-oh. The light just died on me. Oh my goodness. How am I gonna clean the tack trunk in the dark? Let's clean saddles here. 
uh, show sheen. Let's bring that to the show. So I'm gonna task Gabby with this and with cleaning tack. And I'm gonna braid because I don't mind braiding. <laughs> She's like, oh no, not this again. So we took Gracie in last night to, see look at her hair does not even look that bad. We took Gracie. I fixed it. Sophie fixed it. fixed it. So we took Gracie in last night to, so um, Julia could ride her. Okay, listen, let me braid. Right. No, you gotta pull from here down. I'm not gonna pull tonight. I already started. Oh my gosh, all right, you do the keepers. I don't know what to do with them. They're Me going, neither. Look it up. What are they go on Gracie's for? bit? Look it up. Do bit they go guards. Here and hold these two cheek pieces together. They go somewhere to make it the not poke her in and the, the eye. Piece. Look it up. <laughs> so you tie a knot underneath. Like this. Yep, and then tie like like you're gonna tie a bow, and then you button. This is my button. <laughs> Like, like this? Yeah, but way lower. So you want it to be like mostly on his neck like that, just a little bit pointing up. And then how do I tie this? You put two times over. So if he's learning how to button, she braided the storm herself. All right, so Gabby cleaned and put on the keepers or whatever those things are, the bit keepers or whatever. So we literally lost a bunch of our, our braiding stuff at the last show. You have to use the comb. That's oh, what I, I use. Oh, where's the clip? Oh. I stole it. Okay, but we still did lose. We had two pull-throughs. We had two pull-throughs. We lost one. So now we're only one pull-through. Do you want me to braid two? Doesn't matter. So I... It might be too crowded. All right, I pulled a bunch of... Gabby and I pulled a bunch of Gracie's hair, and it's still thick. I pulled one strand. All right, I pulled the rest. But look, it's still so thick. Right, Sophie's braids. This one's cute. Oh my goodness. What a cutie patootie. He's, so <laughs> he's like, I know what this means. It means I have to step up again tomorrow. I feel like he's not that clean. I feel like the dirt blends in with him. <laughs> and I've already brushed him twice. And the mud just, I mean, the dirt keeps. It's hard to get clean when you live in a barn. Anyways, um, so we went to the tax store. We bought hairnet, new gloves. What else did we buy? Uh, present for Julia. All right, so we bought everything that we lost from the last show, and then we cleaned out the tack trunk, and I found everything. These are Sophie's leather gloves. Actually, they're... From Kunkel. You should definitely get those. They're so good. Yeah, and they last a long time. Anyways, so we found these gloves. I'm going to wash them. We're getting done. Hoppin, look at the breeze blowing on you. You're coming home soon. You're coming home. I'm gonna end today's video. We have a lot going on this weekend. We have horses coming home. We have goats. We have a horse show. I can't wait for you guys to meet our new goats. Like that's gonna be exciting. <laughs> well, there you are. Gosh, she's in here. Be nice, Meadow. Be nice. Don't run. She listens. Don't run. Um, you know what else is weird? You know what else is so weird? She's muddy again. Yeah, no, that's not weird. She's always muddy. But you know what is weird? Her face is muddy. Um, when I go into the barn at our house and I call the cat, he, he hisses at me from his hiding spot. When Sophie goes in the barn, she calls him and he runs up to her. Sophie, turn off the water. Turn right off here. the water. It's almost dinner time, girlies. Look at her. She's just chilling. And then there's we go. Oh, that's, that would be a good photo. Hey, um, we're gonna end today's video, but I wanted to ask you guys, Hello, should we, do you guys wanna see the show vlog first or the old lady night first? I'm guessing you wanna see the show vlog first. But you guys decide, comment below what you wanna do. I'm getting behind in videos I accidentally deleted Sophie's last lesson. And then I posted one last night. You guys will have seen it last night and then um, I have my old lady lesson and Gabby's lesson still to post. Like we're getting behind with all these shows. So let me know, do you wanna see uh, Sophie's show lesson or do you wanna see the, or do you wanna see my old lady ride, me and Penny okay. riding like old ladies. <laughs> it was interesting, let's just say that. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?